The views and opinions expressed on the following program are not necessarily those of the staff and management of Salem Media of Hawaii. Welcome to Generations Radio, where the focus is on our seniors and their families. We are here each Saturday afternoon from 5 until 6 p.m., bringing you resourceful information with our radio team of professionals in the field of aging. Stay with us for the next one hour as we explore different ways to make life more exciting and meaningful for our extraordinary seniors. Right here on AM 690, The Answer. And now, here is our host and the publisher of Generations Magazine, Percy Ihara. So welcome back to Generations Radio. I am Percy here every Saturday and Sunday. And uh, if, you, if, you, if you think I sound different, it means because I just made 58 years old. And so I'm a little bit more mature now. And I'm not a senior yet, so don't call me that for sure. But, um, you know, we've been doing this, how long, Leah? Over two years now? Uh, and then we had our pro- previous engineer. But uh, here at uh, Salem Media has been great, thanks to Mike Buck. Um, you know, every every Friday morning we promote the weekend show, and Mike's been great, and he's got a great baby boomer following. Um, so I know a lot of you baby boomers listen to the show, so thank you very much, and uh, thanks to all you guys that sent me emails and calls. You know, it was interesting here now. We've been, the magazine's eight years, and I've been doing this 15 years uh, in working with seniors that we're getting more and more calls and emails from mainland people. They see what we do. They want to contribute to what we do. Uh, on air, they want to do blogs, they want to write for the magazine, you know, and a lot of great people around the country, but we like to have local people. So I don't know if we've ever had anybody from the mainland in the magazine. Um, a couple of the people on the mainland were on a radio show. We have local companies here, but everything is local. And, you know, I tell people, don't call me, call the person in the magazine. That's why every article will have a contact person there, a phone number. Um, and we want to make sure that we have everything local and we know people know your needs here locally. Not that we're that much special than, than the rest of the mainland, even though we are. Uh, we have different issues here going on. But um, So I want to thank you for all your emails and comments and texts and phone calls. You can always do that to me. Um, and people know I have my, my mortgage business, but this is totally separate. Um, but we're here to provide information for you. Uh, and without any cost or referral fee, anything like that. Everybody in the magazine is vetted, and we appreciate all our experts in the field. So we always invite our friends, our neighbors, our partners in the magazine and around Hawaii that specialize in certain areas for our seniors and your parents there, if you're a baby boomer. But it's really important to gather information, be get resources, know who to call, and really to find out how to navigate aging. As I've told many of our, my clients and relatives and friends, it, it gets harder as you get older. Uh, if you have a chronic disease, it's unfortunately it'll get worse unless you can find a way to stabilize your situation if it's chronic. But really, you know, we're, we're trying to be proactive. We try to provide information up front. We try to give you headway. You're not always going to be healthy. Hopefully you are. But a lot of times people fall off a diet like myself. Um, and with the stress in life of work and play and taking care of the grandkids, taking care of your kids, taking care of your parents, it's a lot of work. You know, I was in a meeting with a, uh, with a friend this morning about her, her aunt, and she was stressed out. She didn't know what to do. Uh, she's dealing with the aunt that has two forms of Alzheimer's dementia. Um, two years have been pretty much hell for her, and she's at loss what to do. And I said, I told her basically, you know, that aunt doesn't understand her, doesn't appreciate her, you can't reason with her. I said, well, basically, Alzheimer's dementia is taking her over. Uh, she had a rough life growing up. Uh, she's, I think she's 90 now, and it's very difficult. And so once you understand the situation you're in, you get your resources, you go to support group meetings, uh, understand what you're going through, because a person has Alzheimer's dementia really can't control themselves anymore. The only thing they do is they regress back to how maybe how they grew up, uh, how they were treated, how they were raised, and that's what comes out now. And so this person had a very difficult life, and now she's 90, and it's, it's coming out. It, she's very angry and very brutal, and, and it's very difficult for anybody, let alone a family member or a caregiver, to kind of control the person. So, um, so you know, for you guys out there, go to our website, generations808.com. I always preach this because 
it's important to read it from cover to cover because we have a lot of great information and you want to be a resource yourself. You're going to have family, friends, neighbors, family from church, a coworker that may be dealing with something and at least you can give them a referral. At least you can give them a point them to the magazine because we have done hundreds and hundreds of topics on aging and um, we, we want to be able to be here for you and provide resources for you and the family. So, um, so one of our newest partners in the magazine, if not the newest, is uh, Gail Watkins, um, independent, licensed, and certified agent in, in the financial world and relatively new to Hawaii, even though you've been here, what, two, three? About two years now. Two years now, right, Gail? So welcome to the show, Gail, and thank you for coming on today. Well, thank you, Percy, for having me on. I'm really excited about being a new member with Generations. Yes, absolutely. And I'm looking get you for- out there. Oh, definitely. I'm looking forward to having an exciting year in 2018, and uh, I'm really looking to expand upon the culture of Hawaii and work with a lot of the seniors here to help them understand about their insurance, their plans, making sure that they're up to date in place, and also offering some new plans that I'm looking to take a part of in the future. Well, you know, again, I'm looking at your bio here, and all you got to do is say, I'm from Tennessee. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right? You know what I mean by that, right? Yes, yes. Uh, originally, Chicago was my well, homeland, right. born and raised, but I did relocate to Tennessee back in 2003. And in 2009, I started getting into the insurance business and been working with life and health insurance ever since. So the big, you know what a big question is going to be once they find out you live from, mm-hmm. came from Tennessee is, have you met Mar- Marcus Mariota? <laughs> Oh, I, oh, 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 the, the, yeah, the football player. I haven't met him in person. I would <laughs> love to, <laughs> but I am excited that he is with our Tennessee Titans. So, are you a good, and, big Titans fan? And he has, yes, yes, he has been doing very well there since he's been there. We've been watching the games. So, yeah, uh, yeah I'm excited to see him there. Year. He got hurt, even like, like me, I got yeah. hurt too playing ball, but. I but he, he, he was still doing well considering, you know, it's oh, his absolutely. first year out he's there. He's still young. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you know the story behind that. When he was, what, four or five years old or six years old, he wrote a letter to his teacher. And he still has that note, I want to be a professional football player. Oh, wow. Well, see, that's what you have to do. Actually, you have to speak into existence the things that you want out of life. And one of the things that I wanted out of life was to eventually relocate and live on an island. And that came to manifest itself. It did. When I was 15 years old, sitting on my front porch, I said, one day. I'm going to get out of this cold, minus five degree weather in Chicago. Oh, yeah, I call Windy City for nothing. <laughs> Let me tell you, Chicago is cold. Exactly. And I'm going to live on a tropical island with palm trees. And eventually it came to manifest. Really? It did. At 15 years old. Wow. 15 years old. I knew it. <laughs> Sounds like the story. Catherine Smith, who was our former editor for the magazine and now is a feature writer, he writes all the cover stories. Same thing with her. She lives in upstate New York, well, upstate New York, lived in Manhattan, in New York. Her and her husband always wanted to relocate to Hawaii. She did, um, let's see, I would say now 26 years ago, she relocated to Maui and, we, and retired. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yes. Well, and, that... She, I, that, and that was her story, too. She always wanted to move to, uh, mm-hmm. to Hawaii, yeah. of all places, and lived in Maui. And uh, she loves Hawaii so much that she learned Hawaiian. Oh, well, see, that's next on my agenda. I'm learning the culture, and I'm going to start taking lessons and learning the language. And I can see you can be a great hula dancer. Oh, uh, yes. You want to learn hula? Yes, I want to learn hula, it's too. It's all in the knees now, okay? <laughs> Just want to let you know. It's all in the knees. It's all in the knees. I go to the shows. I know they have the hula shows up oh, on yeah. Cohia Park yeah. on the beach every uh, Tuesday and Thursday, I think it is, I and Saturdays. So. And I go to those shows almost every time, every week. So I really enjoy it very much. And hopefully at some point you'll get into the Hawaiian music. Not the young kid, the Hawaiian stuff, but mm-hmm. more the old classical Hawaiian, you know, with uh, the bells and little drums and the, the guitars of that. The yeah. bass. It's beautiful. It so, is yeah. very nice music. Actually, um, it's on one of the cable channels that I listen to at home. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, I, I do like the I Hawaiian didn't know music about it. I, I met you a couple of times, but I didn't know that was your, always your dream. I was only in Hawaii. Yeah. Chicago, <laughs> Memphis, Memphis to Hawaii? <laughs> wow. I know. That is a major change. And uh, it was a lot of events behind coming to Hawaii. I knew I was going to live in a warm, tropical environment. Didn't really know it was going to be Hawaii at the time, but it worked out perfectly to be Hawaii. Um, originally, 
my son transferred here because his fiance at the time had a scholarship at the University of oh, Hawaii. Really? Wow. And she did not want to come over by herself. So he went with her. And I came to visit several times. Actually, I visited Maui even before that event came about. Oh, well, Maui and does I found the best it. at marketing their island. I'll yeah, it, it was very beautiful, wonderful, most the best experience. Have you been to Kauai? I have not been to Kauai yet. Kauai, nothing is Maui. I love Maui, but I have a lot of good friends of mine. In fact, I'm picking up my friend tonight that's coming flying in from Maui. He lives on Maui. Okay. Um, but Kauai is just serene, lush. Rains a lot though on the North Shore, but okay. uh, it's beautiful out there. It's really, such, it's really old school local. It's more not as commercial, not as probably as fun and commercial like nightlife like Maui has, but okay. it's more quieter. Okay, you go to relax. You know, nothing's up. Nothing's open too late over there. Okay, yeah, you know, but if you get a chance, but it sounds so really since you've been nice. in Hawaii, were you? So you've been in financial plan, financial planning and insurance field since two thousand nine. So when you came here in Hawaii. When I came here in Hawaii, I didn't start out right away doing a lot of the insurance. I did work with uh, some Medicare Advantage planning when I first got here. I had to wait and get reestablished with my license right. and my certifications here for the Hawaii location. And once that was completed, then I was able to uh, begin to work with the Medicare Advantage and the uh, special needs plans. Special needs plans? Uh, yes. Oh. Special needs plans is a little bit different from uh, regular Medicare. The user or the client actually have both Medicare and Medicaid, which are two different. Oh, the dual eligible. You're dual about. eligible. Right. That's correct. So they are eligible for an additional plan that provides care for them with minimal to no co-pays. That's what I heard. Exactly, which is a wonderful thing because most insurances will have coinsurance, deductibles, co-pays, and if you are a special needs person, you will not incur many of those costs. Yeah, well, I know, you know I've, I've done a lot of research in my 15 years dealing with seniors, and uh, we have probably one of the best Medicaid, MedQuest, and, uh, and plans in the nation. And that dual eligible program is great. Yes, it is a very good program. I worked with it quite a bit when I was in Tennessee. They called it Ten Care there. Here they call it MedQuest. Right. And uh, it's like a different name for every state, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it's the same program right. across the board. And um, you find a what? Well, I should say the enjoyment that I get out of it is really finding the people who qualifies for those plans and helping them enroll into the plans. Because a lot of times they're not aware that those plans exist or that these benefits are available for them. There's a lot of extra benefits that are included with the plan, like dental, vision. Sometimes they have... Uh, Plans where you can go to different YMCA's for physical workout and for exercise, free. and it's all inclusive. Exactly, right. there's no cost to the patient. Yeah. So YMCA here, we've had, had them on a show. We've had had uh, their CEO on the cover of the magazine a few years ago, but it's one of the greatest resources we have, and also for kids. My son goes there sometimes for his, um, during the spring and summer breaks. He goes there once in a while. They have great programs over there. So you, that's a great area to specialize in, though. It is. It, really is. it is. And I really enjoy working in that area. Additionally, um, another area is with supplements. I understand here on the island there's maybe not a lot of requests for supplements, but that's a good thing to have also. Supplements, you mean like? Medicare supplements. I mean, and like, You mean like? Medicine, medicines. It's medicines. actually not for medicines, medicines itself. That's like a prescri prescription right, drug plan. However, like this, is, and things. this is for medical coverage, going to the doctor visits, hospital oh, visits, see. and things like that. You, a supplement is different from Medicare Advantage plans, whereas it's with private insurance. It does come with a premium, so you will pay a monthly premium. However... There's no network associated with it. So you can go to any doctor at any time, and it's covered within your plan. However, you do have to have a separate prescription drug plan with the supplement. 
And there's various plans where you have an F plan or a G plan, and they also offer N plans. And they're various in premium costs based on your age and based on how long you've been eligible for Medicare. Well, you represent the um, United Healthcare Plan, right? I am affiliated with United Healthcare Plan. That's one of the biggest ones, right? That is one of the biggest ones That's I hear ARP. on kind of branded them as one Ex- of the biggest, and they are one of the biggest carriers in the country, aren't they? Yes, they are endorsed by AARP, and they are one of the largest in the country, as well as I hear they're one of the biggest oh, ones yeah, here on the I island. Know. I also work with another company called United American, and they offer a lot of very competitive price supplements that mm. is incompatible with uh some of the other supplements that are offered as far as pricing and coverage, even though basically they're the same across the board as far as coverage, but there are some pricing that will make it a little bit more uh, competitive. Can you, for, can you give me an example of what kind of supplements you're talking about, I mean, specifically what, what plan there is? Say, for example, with an F plan. An F plan will give you doctor coverage, hospital coverage, it picks up your Part A deductibles from so, from your Medicare. It picks up your Part B deductibles from your Medicare. I also, heard it explained that with F plan. I know the A and B <laughs> plan, but so that that kind of encompasses all that. Yes, oh, it I encompasses all of that. So that that one plan will take care of all of your Medicare needs as well as your hospital needs. What about the, the D one, the big one, the D, the, the drug D, plan? Now, that is separate. separate. Right? Right. You do have to have a separate prescription drug plan, and that is Part D. And Part D uh, includes any prescription drug plan uh, for, and you can have it by any carrier. You can go with all the different ones that are out there, United right. Health. Right. Uh, I think what's the other one? Well, it's Humana, there's uh, Humana, Ohana Health. Yeah, Ohana. Sure. So any of those can cover you with the prescription drug plan. But However, do you find a lot of, I mean, most seniors are taking some kind of a medication, right? Most seniors do, and you want to definitely make sure that they have a prescription drug plan. And that's one thing where the Medicare Advantage plan or the special needs plans may be more favorable to the majority of the people here because it is a a no cost out of pocket or has very low cost right. and the prescription drug plan is included within the plan so that makes it a little bit more favorable for them to, and it's easier to enroll you don't have to go through any uh, health checks or answer any health questions right now this is January 2018 mm-hmm. you were so we just, and I, what I'm getting to is we just finished the Medicare enrollment for 2017. Right, right. So the how eight, was that for you? Because that's like working 24-7, right? That is usually <laughs> a busy time. I didn't get as involved in it this open enrollment oh. season as I wanted to. I was still kind of positioning myself at that time with uh, getting uh, certified with certain organizations. Yeah, that's Even, one thing. Agents have to be certified with specific companies, yeah? You do. With any company that you are going to prepare um, producing or, or marketing those products, you have to be certified with those companies. I am certified with United Health, and I think because I'm still new to the island and I haven't really built up a clientele yet, and that's one of the reasons why I'm uh, working as a uh, Hard as I am to get the word out and to uh, make it known that uh, that is one of the areas that I specialize in. Uh, what would make me different from a lot of the others, because I am independent, is that I offer uh, consultations at no cost with the client so that I can sit down and explain to them exactly how it works, how it benefits them, uh, how it will uh, meet their financial need as well as their health care needs. And a lot of agents you find can be very pushy as far as trying to get them to sign them. up, you know, or because they get paid more this side or this side. You know. Exactly, because they're more so looking at commissions. But my focus is more so on actually helping that client to find the right plan and find the right uh, doctor that will provide the needs that they need for their health care. Mm-hmm. So 
working with uh, the different companies, I look at core values with each company to make sure that they offer these four things, which is stability, service, quality, and commitment. And that's important because you want the stability to know that that company is going to be there long term. Well, yeah, they say they do what they say. Exactly. You know? Exactly. We're seeing a lot of, I don't know, with Trump going on, we're seeing some Medicare plans get cut back. Exactly. And that's one of the th- things that puts a lot of people at risk. They sign up for these plans, and next thing you know, the plan is uh, discontinued or it has been uh, eliminated, and then that leaves them without any coverage at all. We're, you know, I don't, you, you know, you're really re- relatively new to the islands, but the neighbor islands have been hit hard because it's much mm-hmm. more costlier to have somebody on the neighbor islands provide the service on neighbor islands, and we've mm-hmm. seen that. I mean, I, I believe, you know, don't quote me on this, but I mm-hmm. believe there's no zero premiums out there anymore. Oh, I wasn't really f- familiar with the other islands, but that's something that I may check into. I think you should mm-hmm. um, because that's, of the cost. Yes. Um, I mean, a lot of people went from zero premium to, I believe, 186 per person. Oh, my goodness. That's if that's big. Yeah, that's definitely big if they were on the – government health care plan that was provided through our legislators <laughs> from uh, the president coming down at oh, that yeah. time. So if they have uh, lost their coverage at the time, and what I was informed of, because I never had that type of coverage, but what I was informed is that you're penalized if you do not have any health care coverage now. Yeah, it's a very small fee, but it, it, mm-hmm. it, it's It forever. adds up, yeah. It's forever. Exactly, it adds yeah. up. So that's one of the things that I'm looking to try to get the word out and work with as many people as possible, draw as many uh, clientele as possible to work with them, make sure that they have their health care in place, make sure that they have their life insurance in place too. That's another area that I specialize in, which is final expenses and with whole life. So, but but the final expenses, is that, 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 that company is here in Hawaii now? The company is not based in, not Hawaii, based in Hawaii, but, you can sell but it. I can, yeah, it's they cover, yes, they cover oh. Hawaii region. So um, they provide final expense, whereas uh, for burial expenses, you never know when something happened. Unfortunately, we don't want anything to happen to anyone, but it does. And you It will. Want, We're it, all going to pass away at some at point, some point. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to have things in order and you yeah. want to have things Uh, planned out, and you want to make sure that your final expenses will be covered. That's a heavy burden to leave on the rest of your family that's already grieving for you. And uh, many times, yes, our real estate is expensive. Yes, yes. (laughs) Many times, you know, you're, you're, you're in so much grief, you can't make sound decisions as far as purchasing for, you know, the funeral home or burial plots and things like that. So and working in advance with an agent such as myself, that helps you plan out those things. And we provide uh, little booklets, too, that you can write all your wishes and desires down. So in the event so that, that would cover the plot itself and things like that, it will help cover the cost of those things. So what you can do is help plan in advance to put all those things in effect, picking out what you want for your final resting, and the cost will be covered under that final expense Mm. plan. It's very expensive to die here. You know, if you guys get a chance to go back to our website, Mm generations808.com, I believe, what, month ago, two months ago, we had Fred Collins on from Valley of the Temples. Yes. And he talked about that. It's very expensive, it man. It's is. a very difficult time when somebody dies and you got to make these decisions, right? It is true. Especially when it costs you like five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. Yes. I actually met Fred at one of the events, and I had a great conversation with him. Oh, yeah. And I mentioned to him how I had bought my plot years ago back in Chicago. And I compared to what it would cost me now here in Hawaii. And it's a major difference if I was to uh, die here <laughs> die here, or transfer my plot over. <laughs> you know, what I paid for my plot back in Chicago, I think it was like in the early 80s less when than, I less bought than $2, it. $2,000 probably. It was, yes, much less than $2,000. Here's like 
and five to eight thousand. It is. It's a big difference. So he was like, "Well, you can always transfer over, and wow, you know, really transfer it over, and then you can get a you can get a what do you call those uh, an uh, urn or a little small <laughs> <laughs> something for the comparable price. But if I want to pay the difference, you know, they they would take my D transfer." And really? apply that to. I didn't know that. Yeah, so I, I never was ex- told me that. I, well, I was surprised. I was yeah, like oh, surprised that oh, I could true. transfer. Yeah, I trust Fred. Yeah, I, I trust him too. <laughs> I think he's, I've known Fred a long yeah, many, many he's, years. Yeah, he seems over, to really yeah. know his business well. Oh, he does. And um, he told me I could transfer my deed over. Oh. So that's very we good get to back know. On the show then. Next thing you see him. Anyway, we're here with Miss Gail Watkins, uh, our independent licensed and certified insurance agent. Yes. Um. And if you ever want to know anything about Tennessee, she's the person to call. Uh, her number is 808-600-4586. That's correct. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool number. 808-600-4586, Gail Watkins. Um, we're going to take a short break. We're going to come back and talk more about uh, what Gail's been doing here in Hawaii and was, was one of our Generations partners. So we'll take a short break. We'll be right back. back with Percy Ihara from Generations Radio. If you have any questions or want to be part of our discussion, give us a call at 296-5467. That's 296-5467. This is Generations Radio on AM 690 The Answer. Did you know residential care homes offer a family-oriented atmosphere? At Caregivers Heart Hawaii, our kupuna become part of the family. The smaller environment allows for more personal attention. For example, there's no waiting to go to the bathroom compared to other long-term care options. The patient-to-caregiver ratio is smaller and help is faster. Over time, residential care homes are less expensive compared to other long-term care options. Our caregivers are experienced and enjoy what they do, and all homes are ADA approved. Don't feel stressed and overwhelmed or try to do this alone. Aloha, I am Ku'unani DeMonte with Caregivers Heart Hawaii. Let us help you with all your care home placement needs. Caregivers Heart Hawaii has knowledge and experience. For a free consultation and to learn more about us, go to caregivershearthawaii.com. We're treating kupuna like family is our business. When you feel like Vegas, there's just one place to stay. Grab a drink at the Holo Holo Bar. There's just one place to play. We got a fresh hot look, a new sports book. We got those local meals, just like Auntie Cooks. Aloha, spoken here. Check out the Cow's new renovated look and see why the Cow is Hawaii's favorite place in Vegas to stay and play. Moon Physical Therapy is here to help you back to recovery. Moon Physical Therapy is located on Ward Avenue across from Sports Authority. Physician prescribed for motor vehicle accidents, workman's comp, or that body pain that comes from rushing to play without warming up. Also event cardiopulmonary rehabilitation with our one-on-one patient care. Moon's Aqua Therapy heated endless pool allows for low impact exercise with less pain on land. We will give you the right exercises to get you back to health. Ask your doctor to prescribe Moon Physical Therapy. Moon Physical Therapy. We achieve results. If you're new to Medicare, we can help you work your way through all the questions, the details, and the headaches. Generations TV has gathered experts in the field to help you find the answers. This is Navigating Medicare. A very important period is coming up what we call AEP, Annual Election Period, from October 15 to December 7. The annual election period is when you can change from one plan to another. The plans change. The benefits, coverage, and premiums may be different. So know what you should have. What are your current health needs, your budget, and priorities? You need to make sure the medications you are currently taking are covered and that your doctor is in the network you're looking at. Like we mentioned before, All plans are different. There's no one plan that's good for everybody. Everybody got different wants and needs. Call us and we can help you. Helping you work your way through the confusion. Navigating Medicare. Brought to you today by Financial Benefits Insurance. Serving the entire state of Hawaii from the corner of P.E. Koi and Kapi'olani in Honolulu. 
Oahu's newest senior living community. Ilima at Lehano is now open in the heart of Kapolei. Within this beautiful new community, offering independent living, assisted living, and memory care, you will experience a feeling of ohana that provides a sense of community and peace of mind for our kupuna. A range of spacious apartment styles are available, from large studios to spacious one and two bedroom plans, most with a large private lanai. Be one of the first to call Ilima your home. Visit ilima at lehano.com or call 674 674- 8022. Got Vegas on your mind? Get Vacations Hawaii on the line. Vacations Hawaii offers weekly four and five night Honolulu to Vegas packages, which include three meals daily from six ninety nine. Stay at Hawaii's favorite casinos, California, Fremont, Main Street Station, and Orleans Hotel. Vacations Hawaii will get you there in comfort on deluxe wide body 767 planes with complimentary in-flight hot meal service. Vacations Hawaii's frequent flyer program gives you future travel discounts and credits. So if you're ready to win big, call Vacations Hawaii at 591-4777 or visit PointVacationsHawaii.com. Hi, I'm Margaret Wong with the Copeland Insurance Group. Let us be your Medicare resource throughout the year. We have agents throughout the islands to be of assistance to you. So if you have Medicare questions, we have the answers. Call us at 808-591-4877. Again, 808-591-4877. Thank you. We look forward to hearing from you. Today, more than ever, we local people are living longer than any other state in the union with more seniors, baby boomers, and caregivers. Generations Radio promotes the importance to be proactive as we all age. The radio team will focus on issues facing our seniors and their families, finding resources to navigate healthy aging along with financial, legal, and caregiving information. So join Percy E. Hauer from 5 until 6 each Saturday, right here on AM 690, The Answer. Complete four and five night packages from six ninety nine. Vacations Hawaii, your favorite connection to Vegas. Focusing on the issues facing our seniors and their families today. Here's our Generations Radio host, Percy Ihara. And welcome back to Generations Radio. Um, we're here, depending on what day you're listening, Saturday from 5 to 6, Sunday from 3 to 4. And maybe you might be going to our website and, and checking out our shows there. It's really important to get yourself ready for your aging parent or yourself uh, being proactive. Understanding that you're not going to be this way for the rest of your life. You're going to need some point down the road, some form of caregiving. Hopefully you don't get Alzheimer's dementia. Uh, it's really important to have uh, surround yourself around professionals that are experts in their field to really understand what you're going to have to go through like Medicare. Um, do you care about, you know, one of my favorite questions is when I deal with uh, seniors, uh, do you care what your children get? And look at me really strange, like, what do you mean? I say, well, what about your house? When you pass away... Uh, what's going to happen to the house? Oh, they're going to get the house. I say, well, I always correct them. and say, you're going to get what's left over. And they go, what do you mean by that? Well, you're 80 years old or you're 75 years old now. And some point down the road, can you tell me when you're going to have a heart attack? When are you going to fall down? When are you going to have Alzheimer's? We don't know. Hopefully not. And I don't wish that on anybody. But some point down the road, we're all going to have some kind of a health issue. Hopefully not. But when we do, we're prepared. And I'll tell you, I, I know Dr. Shantani, uh, I went to his 10-day course. He does a great course. And if I tell you, if I would go to his one-hour, two-hour workshops first and decide then whether you need to go to the 10-day course, but he does a great job. Uh, and I went to one of them, and I was one of 50 people in the, in the whole room, and I was probably the second biggest guy there, stomach-wise. And I was only the one there that did, wasn't on any kind of medication. Everybody else there pretty much was skinnier than me. And one by one, everybody goes to the audience saying, okay, what was your, what's your health issue? And, man, I learned a lot about medicine because there were so many people with so many different issues mm-hmm. of health. And it just told me one thing at the end of the 50 people. Skinny does not mean you're healthy. Exactly. I'm like, wow. Mm-hmm. kind of just blew me away. I was kind of quite surprised. Anyway, um, we're here at Gail Watkins, uh, licensed insurance agent, um, certified as well. Um, 
So if you want to know about Tennessee, that's where she came before Hawaii. She's been here in Hawaii for a couple of years. But, you know, I like your, your term here, illness and death. We're all going to at some point experience. I know death for sure, but illness is something. But I always tell families, you know, your kids are going to get what's left over. Mm-hmm. And I always second that, say, if you want to give your kids anything, mm-hmm. buy life insurance. Exactly. Isn't that so true? Exactly. That. I That's agree. Good, if you want to give your kids anything, <laughs> give them life insurance or education. Yeah. Exactly. Life insurance is one of the best gifts that you can give a kid or anyone in your family that will guarantee that they are the recipient of that benefit. Uh, with life insurance, you specify who your beneficiaries are. And if there's more than one child or or beneficiary, you can specify the percentage of your total benefits as to how it should be separated and mm. distributed out. Can you change that? But you know how as you get older, you like one kid, now you don't like the other kid. Now you're taking <laughs> care of, you know, Gail's taking care of me. Now I'm going to give her all the life insurance. You can change it, right? It is possible to change <laughs> your policy. I'm not, I'm not joking. I've seen it happen. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, you can do that. You can change it. And um, all you have to do actually is is call your agent. They'll work with you to get that change. Uh, every insurance company has a, a policy change form that needs to be completed, and and that change usually goes into effect within a thirty day period. Huh. And it's tax free, right? The life insurance. Yes. Yes, um, because there's different types of life insurance. Uh, the one I mostly specialize in is final expenses, which is uh, a very important one. It's not embarked upon as much as it should be, uh, but it's very important to have because it does cover all your final expenses. If you have uh, leftover hospital expenses, if you have... Wow, that must be a big policy because some of these, some of these hospital bills can be 50000 100 grand, don't you think? Some of them are. It will help with the hospital expenses. It may not cover everything, but you definitely want to look at, uh, you know, what your hospital expenses are. Uh, it definitely covers your um, funeral expenses. Uh, with final expense, they work closely with the funeral home that, of your choice to prepare your funeral package, hmm. whether it's actually a burial or if you want to go with, you know, urn or some people even choose cremation. Sure. I mean, I had a friend of mine that called me up one day. He goes, my dad passed away. I said, okay. He goes, but he's in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Oh. So I said, what's the problem? He goes, well, do I fly him back over? Do I, how do I bring him back? Do I have to contact the Department of Health? Do I have to contact the airlines? It's a good question. I don't know. Right. Then we found out that, yeah, you got to contact the airlines. There's a process. Mm-hmm. And my next question was, you guys are Catholic, right? He goes, yeah. He goes, why do you ask that? He goes, well, do Catholics believe in cremation? He goes, no, but mm-hmm. it is possible. So I say, well, I'll talk to the family. Maybe that's an option. And so they mm-hmm. actually cremated him, brought him back, spread his ashes out over um, the island of Molokai. Oh, awesome. And it was all good. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. It, yeah, it, that it, worked it, out great. Yeah, yeah, fortunately it did. And fortunately they were okay with you know, cremation. You know, being Catholic, you know. Right. I mean, right. Um, but it's just something that people don't think about final expense. Exactly. They? You know, most people do not look at the possibilities, which we know we're all going to perish at some point or another, but they don't plan for it. That's one thing everyone keeps putting off. And that's one of the things that I like to be able to work with each and every individual with is planning your final exit. Because there are some expenses that comes with it. There's things that need to be in order all the way down to the flower detail. So those things are some of the uh, areas that we cover with uh, the policies or the plans that are offered for final expenses. I had a, an acquaintance that I knew back in Tennessee that had no insurance. And unfortunately, uh, they lived alone. And when they perish. No one knew about them until about a week wow. later they were found in their home. And it does happen. The body was taken in by the state or by the city, I should say, and uh, held for, I think they hold it for about seven to 10 days to see if anyone will wow. come forward to identify. But then after that, they'll use their own methods of uh, permanently uh, 
resting the body. So unfortunately, because that individual didn't have any insurance or any final expense plans in place, there was no, as you can say, personal or proper home going for them. No family stepped up? Uh, We could afford it? There was one friend that I found out that went to identify the body, but um, they didn't have the finances to provide financial coverage for the final expenses. So, you know, if they had something in place, they could have went through their personal effects, found the policy, and contacted that company and arrange some type of proper burial for that individual. So it's very important to do that. I've had other clients who uh, I met with and they had insurance for themselves, but they didn't get insurance on either one of their children or one of their other senior uh, aunties or, or their parents. And when it came time for that person to pass unexpectedly, then everyone is you know, kind of asking out to other family members, can you pitch in to help pay for the funeral? And that's one thing that, you know, you don't want to put yourself in that position or put other family in a financial strain to help cover your final expenses. So I do encourage everyone to uh, put that in their financial planning uh, goals of things to do for this year. And uh, How's one go about how much to spend on that, though? I mean, like, do they look at the premium amount afford, they can afford every month, or do they look at the total of 50000 10000 100000 Well, you, actually, is? you look at both. You want to look at your face value, and, and there's ways to estimate, you know, what it will cost to have a funeral, what it will cost for cremation. You can um, get some information from the different funeral homes as to what their packages are. And once you've acquired that information, then we can look at the policies and derive on different policies with the various face values that will cover those expenses as well as uh, have a premium that's comfortable to your budget. So uh, with the different companies that I'm affiliated with, That's one of the things that I do is work out the rates for the face value of the policy and work with the client to see what this fits in your budget now because you want them to hold on to the policy because they'll need it and you want to make sure that this is something that they will keep long term. Yeah, Uh, with buying it, they've been ended up not spending all the money and say, ah, I can't afford it, I don't need any more, and it's stuck. Right. With, new, with a lot of the policies, you have to be aware there's a usually a two-year clause where you have to have that policy in effect for two years to get the full face value payout. Oh, that's smart. And that's what yeah. a lot of insurance companies do. And if you... If for whatever reason the person perished before that two-year period is over, what they will receive depending on the insurance company, is a 10% of that face value plus all the premiums that they've paid into the policy. Oh, okay, that's so fair. So they will get something that's back. Fair. But after two years, it becomes non-contestable. Because well, do they have to qualify health-wise or anything like that? Depending on which company and or which policy you get. Some you do have to have health checks, and it does go through underwriting. And then there's other companies, if it's just a basic final expense, it's you just pay your premiums, and there's no health check. They may ask a few health questions mm. on the application, but you don't have to go through having a nurse come out and actually do a physical health check on you, which I've had to do that with many of my clients in Tennessee. Yeah, I mean, you see commercials here in Hawaii all the time Mm -hmm. with these final expense insurance companies. Is is it kind of the same as that, but with nobody here locally like you? (laughs) (laughs) It is similar to that, and one thing that I like, I'm glad you brought that up because you see those commercials on TV and they give you an 800 number to call and, when you call those numbers, you're talking to a total stranger. Well, you don't ha- right. You don't have anyone that you can really interact with or that will take the time to really get to know you, to yep. know your family, to care about yep. you, and help provide the best product and service for you and that meets your financial need. 
So that's where I step in um, as an independent agent. I can meet with each person one-on-one basis in your home or wherever you like and actually sit down and go through the plans with you, discuss them, help you understand, answer all your questions, and then help you uh, fill out the application and, and get everything into an effect. And then once, once a year, we do life insurance evaluations or updates to make sure That's that really important. it is to make sure that your life insurance is still meeting your needs because after so many years you've paid into the policy and your policy can be paid up and then if you don't realize that you're in a paid up mode you're paying premiums on a policy that you no longer really have to pay for I know it's <laughs> it's really important I tell everybody every time you have a financial advisor, you, meet, you need to meet with them once a year, worst case twice, I mean, every other year. Every two years. But you need to meet mm-hmm. with them. Try and meet them every year if you can. Exactly. If you can, especially if you're still working. Um, you brought up a topic that I, that I haven't heard too much about. I've seen it, but I haven't really talked to a whole lot of people about it. You're going to get very very soon be certified in the cancer insurance. Yes, that that's is my new goal for 2018. Yeah, that's great. It's a big that's, problem, though. That's something I like to really bring to the island and offer a lot of the clients here is the to be able to have cancer insurance. It's very important. It's happening everywhere. Uh, my brother-in-law was just diagnosed with cancer insurance with cancer and he had to go through chemotherapy and if he didn't already have a cancer plan in place to help take care of those extra expenses for the cancer treatment and for the chemo that would have put them in a very deep financial bind so it's very important to plan for that also because you never know when that'll happen um there's uh different type of cancer plans. You have independent companies that just offer cancer directly. Mm -hmm. And then in some of the life insurance plans, they have what they call living benefits. And if you... What's that? Living benefits is if you have any type of health issues where um, you're unable to... How do they say? It's, It's... like a cognitive or catastrophic illness, then you can take a portion of your life insurance to help pay for those treatments, those medical treatments, and you will still have enough in your policy for your uh, final expenses and burials. And and also, probably depending on the size of your policy, uh, to have finances to go to your beneficiaries. For example, I have a policy with a company, and I don't know if that company offers in this region. I'm going to find out for sure, and if so, then I'll get affiliated with that company again so that I can offer that in this region too here in Hawaii. But it offers um, for critical illness, chronic illness, and for um, if you have a stroke, heart attack, or diagnosed with cancer. Wow. Then I can take... A portion of my policy, I have, I'm not going to tell you how much it is, but couple million. <laughs> it's, couple it's, million. A pr- it's a pretty <laughs> life size, you know, uh, a several hundred thousand policy where um, if you're in good health, which I was at the time that I got it, so my premiums were very low, even though the face value was high. So I can take a portion of that, let's say if I was diagnosed with uh, cancer, then I can take even up to half of my policy face value to pay for my treatments and still have that other half as for my final expenses. So you can get it either way through life insurance or go directly. That's one thing I tell people. Get it early because, you know, I was, I mean, I'm still pretty healthy, but I'm I'm not as healthy as I was five years ago, obviously. But it doesn't make a difference, right? Once you get the policy, you're in. Exactly. Once you get the policy and as long as you keep your premiums up and don't let it lapse, you will be covered. Uh, It's just like car insurance. You want to think of it like that. You don't get car insurance after you've had your accident. You want to definitely make sure that your car insurance is in place and in, in active policy before the accident happens. So the same thing with, uh, your cancer policy 
And that's why I'm looking forward to doing this. It's such an exciting area to uh, be able to offer that. And that's one reason why I'm getting myself positioned to do that. Uh, You want to have that in place already and to not go to the doctor be diagnosed with cancer, and then run out and try to get the policy. I know. That won't work. <laughs> they won't cover you the then. Time. <laughs> That's why I always try to tell people, be <laughs> proactive, plan ahead. We just got long-term care insurance about well, three or four months ago, my yes. wife and I, mm-hmm. which is a big step. Uh, we haven't thought about oh, yes. cancer insurance, though, mm-hmm. but I'm sure you know, you've got to qualify health-wise too, right? Yes. Uh, you cannot be diagnosed with any type of cancer prior to um, enrollment into the policy plan. So as long as you have pretty good health and um, there's no lymph node issues or anything like that, no type of cancer, thyroid cancer or pancreas, any of that, then uh, you should be able to get a policy. Yeah, I better look Mm -hmm. at that because, Mm -hmm. you know, heart attack and heart, all that stroke like that, that's number one. Mm -hmm. And number two is cancer. Yes, yes. I don't have a problem with heart because men with, women have more heart attacks, women have more strokes. Mm-hmm. Heart attacks you die from, strokes you don't normally die from. Mm-hmm. So men, you pretty much going to go quicker than, than your spouse. Uh, but for cancer, it's another story, though. I mean, I, I yeah. could tell you, I would tell you almost every month I know somebody that, that, that I know diagnosed mm-hmm. with some form of cancer. Cancer, exactly, you know? exactly. And many people now, because of the treatment facilities that are available, are becoming survivors or going to remission, which is a good thing. But there are still several others who don't win that battle. Yeah. Well, health insurance covers some of that, but not all, the, all of it, right? It will cover some of your treatment up to an extent. Right. Right. There's right. a cutoff. And then that after that point is when you definitely need to have your cancer plan in place. So, uh, again, uh, it'll just be, I think, a couple of more weeks. I'm, I'm working to uh, get certified in that area and to be able to offer those plans. And Well, you're going to be like a local expert on cancer insurance. I'll tell you, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know anybody that sells cancer insurance. They may say I have it, but mm-hmm. you should really specialize that and get to be out there. Maybe write an article in a magazine about that because it's really important. Well, I really, look really forward important. to doing that, and I'm so glad to have this uh, new membership as being a partner with Generations Magazine that's helping me to get the word out about myself and uh, to become maybe more well-known uh, across uh, Honolulu and the island so that people know that you feel comfortable coming to me, feel comfortable calling me. Um, I don't have a website as of yet, but you can reach me by my phone yeah, number. What's the phone number? My phone number is 808-600-4586. Easy one, 600. Yes, 808-600-4586. And also you can reach me through my email address, which is wat0417 at gmail.com. You gotta, you gotta make it easy. Gail Watkins at hotmail dot com. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you, Gail, okay. so much. And hopefully, one of the things I can tell you, I, I, like I said, anything with your clients that deals with senior stuff, give me a call. I'm more than happy to help you out. Um, thank you. you know, and it's really important that we stress that all our partners are educated in all this, all these aging issues. You know, I always tell everybody go to our website, look at it for the search bar, type in a topic like Medicare or Social Security, and you'll get all the topics on it, Alzheimer's. Of fall prevention, all the articles mm-hmm. will pop up that we've ever done. And that's one of the best things that our clients and our, our viewers can do and go to our website. It's a wealth of information. I get calls and stuff every week, almost every mm-hmm. day sometimes, yeah. from people on the mainland, see our website, look information. So, yeah, it is. You have great referral sources in there, great information for the state as well as personal and yeah. private insurance. So I think it's really wonderful yeah. to, to definitely be a part of this, and I'm so excited for well, this opportunity. keep in touch and let our people know. Um, but I appreciate your time. Thank, thank you. you thank to a great you. 2018. Thank you for your time, and Happy New Year to you, too. Yeah, likewise. Same <laughs> okay. thing. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. As always, aloha and live well.